Hi, we are uh, Green To Do. We're working on the 3BL Marketplace, and we are all about people, planet, and profit. And Elena is going to take it away. Okay. So, what is 3BL? Well, consumers are the most powerful collective force. Sorry. In, in the world economy. What they do impacts how and where we live. Supporting businesses that care as much about the global population and the environment as their own balance sheets generates even more caretakers for our global community. Oh, sorry, thank you. For everyone, it's about the, it's about the triple bottom line. The people, the planet, the profits, 3BL, the triple bottom line. So, why 3BL? How does 3BL support the people? Well, it supports both the customers and it supports businesses. Businesses who are practicing the triple bottom line, they're practicing, for instance, fair trade. They're paying fair wages to their employees. Uh, it's supporting people all throughout the supply chain. Uh, and it's also generating goodwill amongst customers. Uh, it's, the customers demand this. This is a growing demand, tri the triple bottom line, and businesses respond to it. How does it support the planet? Uh, throughout the supply chain, they're doing things sustainably. Uh, they're making sure that they use local products, they're buying sustainable products. Uh, I mean, there's all sorts of things. Sorry about that. How does 3BL philosophy not only support, but bolster and increase the business's bottom line? Well, they're, it's PR. They're building goodwill amongst customers. People demand it. They're getting more customer base. They build a business, plain and simple. So, what's our pain point? What's our problem? Cam, I'll let you take it from me. Sure. Um, I think I got this. Okay. So we're good. Thanks. Um, so here's what we want to do. Okay. We, we feel that there's this market out there for sustainable products, for this ideology that we have, which we think is very important. And with the environmental concerns growing every day, and population issues and resource issues, we want to become a clearinghouse, basically, for products. And why not? Become a one-stop shop and make that happen for companies in local places that believe in this ideology and say, hey, you know, we're going to take you and we're going to connect you to the consumer, basically and say, we're going to give you the tools and the platform to make that happen, essentially. And so if you think about it, we become an Etsy sort of, or a sustainable product market, basically. And we're connecting the two sides, essentially, and saying, hey, we're going to do really well for you, and we're going to push you forward. So that's the way that works. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is built in Ruby. Um, we've got an, an expert rating, and if you have a particular product that you want to look at and it's made locally, you want to see what it's, what's in it, you can also search for it. So uh, let's say we were looking for cake. Great. Okay, and um, from here we've got big visions of where this can go. So jumping back to our PowerPoint here, uh, right there. Okay. Good. All right. All right. You got me as you go. So this is really, uh, we have less work on our user interface done, but our goal is to make it look more Etsy-like. Think Etsy, but this is the local space. We're pushing the local space, the local marketplace. We're going to work with local businesses for that to help them have a platform to put their businesses up on the web to buy their products. So, you know, we're going to build a user community. We're going to have people rating it. People are going to buy into this. Uh, you know, if a business isn't practicing the triple bottom line, then people are going to say something about it. They're not going to build their business. So it's going to create the need for the triple bottom line. There's a lot of market opportunities. Customers are too full. Firms run small and local firms. It's a large multinationals and customers making purchases. Uh, we have green market websites as far as our competition, but they're less locally focused. There's bricks and mortar enterprises like a Whole Foods, but that doesn't quite work in this in this stream. Revenue, there's a percentage off the top, there's advertising, there's partnerships that we can uh, perform. That's it.
So talk to me more about how you can stay ahead of Whole Foods and their, their, their sort of national global buying power and their shrewdness and the negotiating side. Um, we're not actually trying to compete with Whole Foods. I realize that our presentation probably wasn't as strong, but then, well, I want to say something. Well, sorry, we have to, let's go next. Okay. Yeah. All I'm going to say is simply that we spent a lot of time actually working on the business model. We think we have a really solid product. Mm -hmm. We're excited to go forward with it. We're not competing with the bricks and mortar places like the Whole Foods. We're creating an Etsy like marketplace for local, triple bottom line businesses. There's no competition in that market. There's none. There's people who are trying to be green and they're selling these products, but it's the mass aggregator. We are the local aggregator for triple bottom line businesses. People can talk about it. They can buy these products online. We're going to create a platform that local smaller businesses maybe say aren't able to sell it online. We're creating a platform. We've never heard of rent cycle. They create a platform for local businesses to rent items. We're doing the same thing with just for local businesses, selling goods that are practicing the triple bottom line. Consumers are going to buy into it. It's going to build their business. It's going to build our business. We're going to create, we're going to get a portion of their revenue from selling goods on the market. Us. And think about Pure One, right? I mean, they're they're just mass producing this stuff. They're saying they're friendly to the market, friendly in terms of ecology or environment or whatever else. But if we can go to the local folks and, 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 and really bring that up and create that community and go local and make things better there, I think it, it opens up a different sort of, sort of space that niches it in a very different way. You can talk about it all you want, but if you really create that platform and help the two sides and bring them together, you guys have to. And do they get some sort of like a badge, like as a got rating kind of a sticker that they can put on their product or something? No, kind of badges product? is actually one of the things that we've been working towards. Uh, we didn't have a chance to incorporate it into our UI mock-up made on paint. Not myself, it was not a tech person whatsoever. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it, there's so many different directions that we can go with this. We want to build a user community. It's gonna, there's going to be a Yelp community, almost not Yelp per se, but it is. Quick question. Yeah. Quick question, if I could. And it's a it's a tough question for a startup, but I think it's something you need to think about. Sure. And that's how do you differentiate yourself or stay ahead of the curve if Amazon Marketplace or eBay decides to open up a tab which is local or for just sustainable? Okay, I'm gonna touch that. One of the most critical one of the most critical sources of revenue for us and and really credential is partnering with the major nonprofits in this space, Global Wildlife, and some of the very, very massive membership organizations that we would obviously share um, similar values and similar goals. And we think that we can represent their, um, their priorities well and manifest them in the marketplace. And we also feel that that affiliation will lead down the line to more people, more community-based sense of what really caring for this planet is all about. Thank you. Thank you very much.